Good morning, my name is Eugene Bryce from Bryce Energy Services. Um, I've decided to do a short presentation, um, partly to welcome some new followers from the world of finance and quality that I've gathered over the last uh, couple of days. Um, this is about supply chains and how and when you should start considering asking for carbon footprint um, of the materials and goods your business consumes. So if I get into it a little, imagine an email exchange uh, between yourself and a supplier. So if I pull up the first email, dear supplier, how are you? Did you see the match Saturday? Um, it's a curious thing that all UK email chains start with a personal note. Um, other cultures do find it unusual, but um, we'll stick to the convention here for this presentation. Uh, please provide a quote to deliver 10 off widgets to our Newcastle depot on the 15th of October. Regards. And the response from the supplier. Uh, Dear Mr. Purchaser, yeah, fine. Yeah, crazy result. I think they might stay up. Um, so, um, for 10 of... 20,000 £20, pounds, including delivery, Newcastle Depot, send PO, and we'll get things sorted. Now, that is probably how 90% or even higher of materials and goods are purchased right now. So let's move on. So let's mention CO2 equivalent in the next email, see how we get on. So, dear supplier, how are you? See the match. Please provide a quote for ten delivery of 10 of widgets to Newcastle Depot in October. Also, I'd like to know the carbon footprint in tons of CO2 equivalent of each widget leaving your factory and the carbon footprint in tons CO2 of delivery the 10 of to the Newcastle Depot ideally broken down into your scope one, two, and three. So response from our supplier, dear Mr. Purchaser, yeah, fine, football. For 10 of, again, price, PO, get things sorted. Then finally, I have no idea what the carbon footprint is, let alone in tons CO2E for scope one to three. Could you explain? So. The initial response from our supplier is complete ignorance of the issues of what's required. And let's move the story a little forward. So the purchaser responds, again, football, football. Um, we've had an excellent consultant in advising us on our carbon and energy management system and evaluated our business carbon footprint, namely Bryce Energy Services, which is very nice. Um, anyway, uh, the business has introduced a new carbon policy that we only buy materials from suppliers that state the carbon footprint. You should have got a letter from us about this weeks ago, regards. And the supplier, dear Mr. Purchase, I'll get back to you about the carbon footprint. I'm sure we have it somewhere. So um, in this short exchange, um, I just wanted to highlight that a lot of businesses are requesting of their suppliers to provide the carbon footprint for the goods. And supplier could be anything from the widgets, um, continuous deliveries, um, waste disposal. Um, the idea being that as a business tracking your carbon footprint, you need to be aware of the supply chain around you. So we'll move on. In an ideal world, uh, how are these emails? So dear supplier, morning, how are you? Could you please provide a quote for ten, delivery 10 off widgets again to Newcastle? And the supplier responds, 
Yeah, again, football, football uh, for 10 of total cost. And to you, so to the purchasing business, um, that would be um, scope three emissions of 8.5 tons. So in an ideal world without prompting, when you have any exchange of goods or even services or um, product, you as a business should know how much carbon that is generating for your business, but also for the other business, for the customer business, what that is in, for their scope three. Now, CO2E equivalent, scope one, scope two, scope three is a whole topic in itself. And I'll link to another video that I've done describing um, how you can evaluate scope one, scope two, scope three. So continuing. So we have here a tabular quote from a supplier and ultimately the invoice from a supplier. So for your business, uh, when you get a quote, the cost, obviously important, total price, but also total carbon footprint. Because moving forward, when you're evaluating quotes from suppliers, consideration needs to be made for the carbon footprint for that widget. So you as a business may decide that a lower carbon footprint is worth a higher price and only your business can decide that balance between cost and scope three carbon footprint. Similarly, uh, the invoice, um, when you receive it from the supplier, will have obviously the invoice price to yourself, but also the total carbon footprint. And again, as a business concerned for carbon footprint, you should be adding up all your um, supply carbon footprints. So for the purchaser business, this amounts to 8.5 tons CO2E, all defined as scope three, because you your business is indirectly responsible for the carbon emissions of your suppliers. And So hopefully you enjoy that short presentation. Um, we have um, various LinkedIn, YouTube channels. Also, you can email me on info at priceenergyservices.com if you would like further information. Um, and uh, thank you. I hope I uh, found something useful in uh, this short presentation. Bye.